Welcome back. It is time for Midway Swiss Days coming up this weekend. So excited. It's one of those events that people come to from not just here locally, but all over the world. In fact, all over the state and beyond. People plan their vacations, their calendar around it. It's such an exciting time. We have Asia Phillips here. Talk all about Swiss Days. Welcome back. It's lovely Hi, to see you. Yes, you too. It's like our yearly reunion. It is. And it's <laughs> so exciting because we're in a better place with things that have been happening as far as the pandemic. So it's really back in force. In fact, yes. this is the 75th anniversary. Yes, it is. 75 years that we've been putting on this insanely ginormous craft craft fair, but it's it's wonderful. It's been wonderful. It is. So give us an overview of Midway Swiss Days. I feel like most people know what it is, but we have viewers all over. So yeah. how do you describe it? So technically we are the, the nation's largest outdoor craft fair really, if you'd want to consider that. We have about 240 vendors that are actually juried out from our community, and we get people that apply from all over the United States. I mean, as far as like New Jersey, California, Washington, and they come, and something that's kind of unique about that is that we, we will select people that have handmade items. So we don't like to get things that have been reproduced or mass made, we, we like things that are just handmade, some of the things that I've brought, you know, just to kind of showcase. And I think that's what's really unique about us is that really you can't get anything. It's not things that you can get everywhere, you know, any other craft fair, which is pretty unique about that, I think. And so it's, it's, that's that's one of the fun perks. Plus, we have tons of food and entertainment. There's just so many wonderful things that you can do at Swiss Days. So it's really more than just shopping. Oh, yeah. I know people love to get all their gifts for the holidays yes. and beyond yep. and treat themselves. And you brought some fabulous things that you love yes. that you can get. Well, these are just some of the things that I've purchased over the years. I mean, like these dresses. I mean, I I get these dresses every year. I try to, to get a dress from one of the vendors. Uh, the soap lady comes and brings all her amazing soaps. We love that. These baskets I got last year, they were actually from a booth um, from Children in Africa made them. And this lady comes and sells them. And then she puts some of the proceeds back into that little village. Uh, we have photographers, painters, uh, jewelry makers. A lot of it's local, you know, he Utah or Heber Midway even. But then a lot of it is even out just out of, out, out of inside our nation, which is actually really cool to allow those opportunities for those, you know, small business owners and, and to be able to do things like this. Oh, it absolutely is. Yes. And these baskets that are displayed here, right? they're just, they're a favorite of mine, actually. Oh, look, see, I got a small one for my kids. I got like, they were like Christmas gifts for all my friends this last year. <laughs> So, so many different booths, but there's a lot more than the booths. Yes. You come for that, but also oh, enjoy yes. the entertainment and the food and all the great things right. happening. Which is actually kind of funny because then men are like, oh, I don't want to go shopping all weekend. That's like, bleh. But there's actually a lot to do. We have a ton of food booths as well. A lot of uh, fun, fun foods that you can get there to eat. We have entertainment all day, both days. Our event runs from 8 to 8 on Friday and Saturday of Labor Day weekend. And we have entertainment, we have a parade, we have a 10K race. So there's really like quite a lot of things you can do. Uh, it's really entertaining. We have a really cool thing that we've never really, people don't take advantage of and I think is incredible. We have a package drop off. So when you go buy all of your big photos and all of your crazy items, you can drop them off for free to be held until you're done for the day, which is actually a really cool thing to have. We, uh, we just, I mean, our whole community has been baking goods, treats, snacks this whole you know month or two months, actually all summer, to sell those in our baked goods booth. Uh, we, have, I mean, there's just plenty for everybody. Oh yeah, the entire community comes together right. to celebrate this great day of heritage in Midway. Something logistically, a lot of people come. We don't want anyone to not want to arrive because it's crowded and busy. Right. You have some great transportation things going on to help alleviate that. We do. So we have shuttle stops at each kind of entrance into Midway is what we say. So we've got one coming up from the south side. We've got some coming over from like maybe the Heber area and then also from the north. So from Park City, I-80, things like that. And the shuttles, I believe, are $5. Park there all day and you get shuttles, you get dropped off right at the square so you don't have to fight any traffic, which is really good. And yes, it is crazy. Our small little town of, you know, 5,000, we host, you know, anywhere to 60 to 80,000 people on a weekend, depending uh, on the year. and. So it is crowded. Maybe the best way to kind of 
sidetrack those things are instead of a big stroller, pushing a stroller through the house, maybe bring a, wear a baby carrier. Uh, so just kind of, there are kind of ways to help alleviate that, but it is very, we, you know, we do have wide aisles. It is very, you know, accommodating in that sense. Uh, the city, because it is on city property though, they don't allow pets. So you can't bring dogs and animals and things like that. So if you know that ahead of time and don't come, then you won't be, you know, we do have like a, a, a place maybe we could have people go have watched their pets, but that's kind of our big thing. The city, it's a city ordinance this year. And so that's kind of the thing. We don't want anybody to come up and have to get fined for that. But other than that, everything is, is very, you know, accessible and it's just a really exciting weekend. It really is. We're so excited that it's here yes. and we're going to have the little Swiss royalty yes. come out just right after this. But yes. I want to make sure we get all the details where we can find more information. Okay. If we want to prepare, where can right. we go? So our website is midwayswissdays.org. And that has a calendar of the events, but where it's eight to eight both days on the square, there's entertainment indoor and outdoor. So we've got two stages and uh, the address is just Midway Town Square. It's also on the website, but if it, you know, you drive around in enough circles, you're gonna find Town Square. It's a small enough town. So, and uh, yeah, that's, that's where information is. And you know, they, I think, I believe they do have an Instagram account you can look at as well, but. All information's on our website. Well, thank you so much, Asia. Yes. Always love having you oh, here. Enjoy you. talking about Swiss Days thank you. and all of your hard work. You do a lot as the Swiss Days PR in person on the committee for it's many years. We appreciate your hard work. Yes. And we're excited to take a quick break and get back with the Swissness royalty. So stick with us. We'll be back right after this.